gonna give us something to paint with our slime, and we're gonna attempt our best to paint it with the slime. I've never done this before, I've never painted with slime before, so we don't know how this is gonna go, but uh, let's straight on into the video, yo. We have all these slimes right here to pick from. Let's get started, Paul, give us our subject. The subject for this round is Huggy Wuggy. Ah! I love Huggy Wuggy, I just wanna hug him, but he'd eat me, so that's not a great idea. Does he eat people? I don't know what he does, but <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> she doesn't know what Huggy Wuggy is. <laughs> Huggy Wuggy sounds cool. So first off guys, I'm gonna start with the base of Huggy Wuggy, which he is like this blue, so I'm gonna use this. I haven't done this in so freaking long, but bubbles. I know who Huggy Wuggy is now. I'm gonna need blue base. Okay, so now I just need to figure out how to make this. We're actually gonna be using pencils to sketch on the canvases first because we realize slime's gonna be a little slimy to deal with. That's a great idea. I'm not very good at drawing yet, guys, but here is mine. It's, I'm happy with it. Here's mine. I'm happy with it. I decided to get Insta Snow guys for my blue base because Huggy Wuggy is kind of fluffy and Cloud Cream looks fluffy, so I'm gonna go with that. I actually mixed a bit of black into the blue and I think this is a better color for Huggy Wuggy because he's got a bit of like a darker color. Okay, I'm gonna mix all this blue and just a bit of this black. Clearly there's not enough slime in there. I'm using magical clay to outline it first so slime doesn't spill over. I had to mix the slime manually because there wasn't enough to mix it in the mixer. Now I'm gonna add my instant snow. We're gonna make it nice and fluffy and mix. And it's all done. This actually came out so good. Really stringy, I'll show you in a little bit. Now it is time to start painting. Okay, so I think I'm almost done with the outline and I I think it's coming out pretty good. So I like her idea, so I'm going to make an outline for the lips out of red clay and then I'm gonna fill it up with black. That way it stays together. And done, it looks so cool so far, guys. I'm gonna start putting the slime on it. Okay, here is the fluff, guys. Very fluffy. Now we're just gonna, how should I apply this? Should I just like that? Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Okay, this is gonna take a really long time, but I'm, I'm committed. I finally finished my bow, and I'm not entirely happy with the top part, but I'm gonna finish it now before I go crazy. Now I'm gonna start with the slime part, and this is gonna take me forever with the method I'm using, but I feel like it's gonna pay off. I don't know about you guys, but my Huggy Wuggy is looking a little chuggy wuggy. Almost done, guys. Originally, I was gonna put slime as the eyes, but then I realized it was gonna make a mess, so I covered it all up, and I made clay eyes, and I'm gonna put slime on top so it's glossy. This is so difficult, guys. I ended up just taking the eyeball off because turns out it can come off very easily. I'm done outlining everything and it looks so cute. Now I'm gonna put the slime on it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting the slime on the shadow and I think that's like a darker blue. And I'm finished and this actually looks so much better with glossy eyes. Okay, we're gonna put its mouth backgroundness now. This is like painting with solid. And I'm finished with the mouth. Now I gotta do the feet. He's actually looking kinda cute. He, he's looking kinda huggable without his teeth. I finished with the shadow. Now I'm gonna work on its lips. Ah, I don't think I want this one. Let me find another one. Done with the lips. Now I'm gonna fill up the bow, the hands, and the feet with yellow slime. I'm done with the bow, the hands, and the feet. I'm gonna work on the body now. So I'm gonna mix this blue and this white one together. I think it should be a little lighter. Now I'm adding his teeth. Or he is scary. I added his teeth and I think it looked pretty good. Now I'm gonna do his feet and hands. This is the perfect color. So I'm making his feet and I'm gonna attempt to color match that. So it looks like it needs a bit of yellow as the base, a tiny bit of orange, and a tiny bit of black. And now the eyes. I'm adding some touch ups to mine because it did dry out a little bit and now there's kind of spaces in between. So I'm redoing it. And almost done. Done. This actually turned out super cute. Now I'm gonna put probably some red on the outline. So let's start right here, and then I'm just gonna put it all over. Here is the color. I think I did a pretty good job at matching the color. I, I'm like one of those color matching people on TikTok now. Now we're gonna do the feet. 
I'm gonna use this to spread it out. There's a bubble on her forehead. I get to pop it. It's not popping. Amira, can you help me get this pimple off? You no. <laughs> ah! I, I got this. I feel like Dr. Pimple Popper. I am finally done with all of it. I'm probably gonna add some finishing touches, but I'm gonna do the background now. I decided with four different colors, cause, and I have the first corner done. I think it looks pretty good. I went with a lighter shade of blue, so it wouldn't blend in too much. Now I'm gonna try red. Mm, I'm gonna go with the yellow. I'm done with the yellow, now I'm gonna do the green, and it's looking so good. And I'm done! <laughs> it looks so good. We've been here for like eight hours. It's nighttime now, Wait, but I am- It took me eight hours. It took you 12 hours. We're finally done, and I'm really, really happy with this. It looks so good. All right, so it's judgment time. Who's going first? Me. Uh, you want to go first? So I asked you to draw me or slime me, <laughs> huggy wuggy, <laughs> and you made this. Wow! Yep, looks pretty good, right? This looks absolutely amazing. Let me poke it. I'm no, just no. kidding. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. No. This is gonna be looks only. Oh I am gosh. not destroying this. You can touch this part. Look at that, guys. Watch. It's 3D. Yeah, it's all 3D. This looks really cool. It's a 3D painting of Huggy Wuggy. That looks amazing, Amira, but now let's take a look at yours. Whoa, what is this Huggy Wuggy? Huggy Wuggy. Why you does she look so sweet? Yeah, no. why, what's up with Huggy Wuggy here? Huggy. This is how what Huggy Wuggy <laughs> looks. I, I played like Huggy Wuggy. Like he actually will give you a hug and not well, not do anything. Yeah, either. who doesn't want to hug him? That's Huggy Wuggy. That's like, Honestly, Huggy Wuggy. I kind of feel like this one's I forgot his bow tie! Well, anyways, this Huggy Wuggy, it should be named Huggy Huggy because I don't see no Wuggy in that one. There's his bow tie. Ah, uh, almost forgot that. It's time to judge your Huggy Wuggies and Huggy Huggy. They're both amazing, but there is one winner, and that is Amira! Yeah! That's because you made a Huggy Huggy and she yes, made a Huggy and Wuggy. And this one will hug you. Yes, but Honestly, I asked for a Huggy I Wuggy. I kind of feel like this is a bit scarier. It he looks like you. maybe he's trying to, to trick you. He's like, he's luring you in. Oh man, you, know, you might want to change my vote there. No! <laughs> Put those aside. It's time for round two. And round number two is make me any Minecraft mob. Ooh. I chose to make a flower pot. So I'm going to start by where the flower goes. I'm already done with my drawing and Amira hasn't even started hers. So I'm going to start outlining it with clay. I decided to go with a sheep face because I thought it would be really, really funny to do. So we are going to do that. I'm going to be doing the fluffy part with cloud cream again. So I'm going to turn this into cloud cream. Now grow! The mixture's not working. So after using my big brain to try and figure out how to fix the mixture, I realized I was being stupid and I just needed to plug it in. Then I realized I didn't have enough slime in the cloud cream, so I added some more. I'm done, it looks amazing. The secret to cloud cream is a lot of sherry and cream, apparently. So guys, for the nose, I'm actually using a jelly cube sponge. I need to make the perfect shade of pink with clear in this pink slime and then I'm going to put it on the sponge. Okay, here's my pink. I think it turned out perfect. I'm gonna put it around the sponge and let it soak up. Now I'm doing the fluff part, and it's gonna take forever like it did last time, but it looks good, and my Huggy Wuggy turned out amazing, so I'm gonna do it again. Here is my flower. I'm done with the outline, now I'm gonna start putting my slime. I'm done with all the white cloud cream, and I think I got better at this, guys, and it is so beautiful. And here is the nose so far, and it's also looking amazing, but I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer to let it soak more. Now I'm making some more white slime, so I can make the skin. And for the flower, I'm gonna be using clear slime, like pollen. For the stem and the leaves, I am going to be using clear green slime as well. And now that I'm done with my flower, I'm gonna put my brown slime on the pot. For the top part of my drawing, I'm gonna use blue like the sky. So here is the color, guys. I think I did a pretty good job at matching it. Um, I, it's a tiny bit off, but I think it's good. I'm gonna do the skin now, and here we go. Amira, I'm already done, and you're gonna take forever. Let's go! Ooh, spin, everybody spinning! Subscribe! Subscribe! I'm done with the skin now. I am gonna have to adjust it a little bit, but I'm gonna add the nose, and look at how perfect. It's like literally perfect. It's like a little wet nose, and it's pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna add um, his eyeballs. I added the skin, I readjusted it, and now I'm adding the background, and it's taking quite a while, and it seems like I made Jetta go to sleep.
I wasn't trying to touch. <laughs> this looks pretty. Who's your first? You went. I did. I no. I want to go to sleep. All right. So what kind of mob did you choose? I made a flower. That's not a mob. Is <laughs> that a mob? Oh. Did you say mob? Yeah. What's that? It's any being. Yeah. It could be a zombie. Okay. Well, it's a flower. This <laughs> you time. made a flower. Well, you know what? You made a micro flower, so that looks really cool. It looks honestly. really nice. I like it. I like yeah. the clear parts. I like that. That looks like pollen, like honey inside the flower. Honey, Just honey. like bees would go mm -hmm. and eat the pollen. This looks great. So, I love it. Do I win? I need to check the other one. And Amira, what did you make? A sheep. Oh, it's a sheep's head. See, that's a mob. Can I touch his nose? Yeah. Oh, I can touch careful his nose? Careful with the fluff. <laughs> careful, I can with, careful with his fluff. I can touch the nose. It's all squishy and wet. This looks really, really cool. And oh, you got the fluff going mm -hmm. on again. But this time you even added the sponge. That is great. The wind goes to Amira. Yes! Long. It did take really long. Yeah, she did. But um, so I should. It get looks the win. really good. And I'm really happy with yeah. it. Yeah, so I'm giving you really the good. win, Amir, because you didn't make a mob. But, but it looks great. But it's a flower. Well, I guess I was this job. This was really, really fun, and it took a really long time, guys. So make sure you press that like button and the subscribe button. Comment down below if you guys want us to do another one. This took us like literally the entire day, like 12 uh -huh. hours. That's it, Lisa. Do you really?